I'm getting requests for a video on how to do the convent stitch. And I figured while we're in here, we'll also cover knots and waxing and how to zip up these corners in an elegant fashion. So um, let's tie one off first. It's, it's just kind of irritating to see knots and maybe you, when you start off you can wiggle one under the the layers and hide it in there but it still leaves a bump and that doesn't help you once you get going. So anyway what we found that we like is let's say I've run out of thread here. I'm going to come across to this side and just catch a couple of threads and then I'm going to do that one more time so that there's a little U-turn thing happening here. And we're just trying to catch just the front edge of this, not the, the single layer back there. And from this point, that, that guy's not going anywhere. But then what do you do with the tail? Because if you do snip it here, it could come out. So we just tuck it in right nearby in between these two layers and leave a tail in there where it can mind its own business and not fluff around in our faces and everything else. Scissors, do you have scissors over there? Thank you, dear. So then you just snip it flush here. Voila. And you start the same way. So here, we're doing double thread because, um, because we spend a lot of time repairing single thread stitching on old purificators because they they, they get ironed and washed and ironed and washed and ironed and washed much more than anything else that shows up on the altar. And it just wears the thread out after a while, so two's good. Um, also, it's very helpful to wax it, which is going to irritate some purists who don't like to see slightly tanned stitches as they start out, but that comes out in the wash. Um, and this will behave a lot better. Fewer knots. Um, I'm waiting for Wix to add the the little module that puts the scratch and sniff in there because this wax smells incredibly wonderful. If you run it through your fingers a little bit, you'll hear that bizarre noise. And the, the heat of your fingers kind of melts the wax into the thread, takes the extra excess out of there. Um, some people that are really cool will spend a while and they'll thread up a whole package of needles like this and iron the wax after it's in there to kind of, I don't know, they swear that's classier. We'll see. So we start the stitches off the same way, back away from where you're going to take off, and get your thread in between the two layers. And let's see, let's work up to where our next stitch is going to be. And I'm going to pull this just until the tail disappears inside. And then I'm going to do a little catch here of a couple of threads. And that's it. Like, this is really in there. Cool. So, convent stitch. Fold this back on itself like that so you get these two peaks. Your folded one and the single layer of the front side. And I'm going to go across here and catch just a thread or two there. and then straight across and scooch down just an eighth of an inch. Turn your layers and poke it through across. So we're hiding the bulk of the thread in between the hem layers and just catching a little bit on the front side. Sorry about that. A little nausea inducing wiggle of the camera.
All right, when you get to the corner here, I'm going to do take a slightly different tactic. So we got to manage this uh, double layer thingy going on. And so what I like to do first, come out on one corner exactly. Catch the other guy. And then return to the initial side to kind of close that up securely. And then again, I'm folding these back on themselves here. So we got both of these peaks at the top. Then what we do here is go a double length, go like a quarter inch almost. And unlike the other one where we go across and then come back here, we're going to just sink into the opposite hem. Go a quarter inch down there. Come back here. Scoot close to the end. And then to keep our orientation happy, turn everything around. Oops, sorry, sorry. All right, straight across, and this time we're going to go just a eighth inch again. And we're going to basically walk back down toward our intersection by splitting the difference. So here's my last stitch, and I'm going to go past that and come out in between this one and that one. And basically that's going to give you your eighth inch distance between stitches. Uh, in one fell swoop. It's kind of a cool way to solve this whole thing. And that, that covers knots, waxing, and comment stitching. So here we're back. And so far we haven't really included this very corner here in the um, in the corner attachments and I think it's kind of important to attach that so just scoop up a hair there and then you're off and running back down the road and there you have it oops there